Beautiful Leo, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today we're going to have a little bit of fun with Tarot, darling. We're going to see who is coming towards you right now, Leo. So how this is going to work, honey, is I'm going to be talking about the details, the impressions that I'm getting with this person, and it's up to you to rely on your intuition, Leo, to figure out who this person is going to be fitting for your life. It could be an old ex energy, if the energy is representative of your ex, of course. It could be a past friend that you haven't been talking to for a while. You know, you could be getting a perspective on on the thoughts of what's been going on with them, right? But keep in mind, Leo, this is just some tarot cards, right? This could be someone that's completely new coming towards you, so you know what to, what attributes to look for. So um, with all that being said, let's just jump into this reading for you, darling, right? Leo, let's see who's coming towards you right now. Let's see, starting this off, we have the Queen of Cups. So this is a really good energy for my Leos that have been trying to call someone forward that is a little bit more uh, fitting of their energy. The Queen of Cups, when the, a person is ex is exuding this energy, firstly, naturally, I want to point out it could be with someone that has heavy water. <laughs> Excuse me. In the chart, Leo. So as well, when it comes to the Queen of Cups, this is an individual who is caring of other people. They are very receptive of other people's emotions. And this is probably someone who is a little bit codependent, right? They really associate their happiness in terms of making other people happy. So they're probably a people pleaser as well, uh, Leo. But this is a really good energy to be in because this is so much of a sense of where it's like you get what you get when it comes to them. There's not really a guessing game when it comes to this person. It feels like they... Uh, very much so are expressive of their emotions. So let's go a little bit deeper with this. Um, you know, we have the Ten of Wands coming in here. So they do have some baggage going on. Let's get a little bit of uh, idea of what's going on in terms of their baggage, because just like with any human being, darling, we all have our own baggage. So let's see here. Nine of Pentacles. So this is probably someone a little bit baggage in terms of their own ability. Now, the Nine of Pentacles does represent uh, my Leo as someone who is a little bit more self-dependent, uh, self-employed usually. So with this person, this while they have a really good mind on their hands, when it comes to their finances, probably they may not. You know, there's a little bit of a hurdle here. I don't want to just make off the... Uh, blanket statement that they may not be good with their finances, right? They could just be having a lot going on financially for them. But we have the star card coming in here as well with the nine of wands. So what I would be saying, Leo, this person is giving me very much so an energy of someone who probably is self-employed, uh, definitely self-employed, I would say. Nine of wands with the star card shows to me of where they have a passion and they're really living out towards it. So that's why they're having some little bit of struggle right now, Leo. I know some of y'all are going to be like, well, honey, I don't want this person coming into my life. If they have money problems, honey, I have my own, right? But this is a person where it's like they're their financial issues or the issues, the stress going on related to their finances and their career, Leo, is someone that it's kind of like put upon them themselves. This is someone that is going by their passion and not really just doing what just gets them by. They want to do something that drives them, right? So very much so an energy I feel like you could appreciate, Leo, just because... Um, I kind of associate with you with that as well, being very unapologetic and just living by your truth, regardless of uh, how uncomfortable that truth makes you when you have to stand by that, right? We have the lover's card in the reverse here. So this is definitely someone uh, recently, probably, I'm getting. I just saw the number three. So it could be three weeks or three months, nothing past this, of where they recently had a, uh, a little bit of a friction. Uh, with some type of close relationship in their life. Let's see what kind of relationship that is. Is this the past relationship? Judgment card coming in here. So they had to make the choice. Ten of Swords in the reverse. All right, Leo, I really like this person a lot, surprisingly. <laughs> I say surprisingly as if I wouldn't like someone when it shows up in tarot. But this is actually... I love this energy because this is a very multifaceted person. It shows to me, you know, you, some people, Leo, maybe it's just me, that I find some people very predictable. You know, we have some people that are just like, you can just see from point A to point Z, darling, how they're going to be acting. And just very predictable energy, like, oh, I saw this coming. With this person, this person seems very layered in their uh, in their life. It seems like they have a lot that they're dealing with, but at the same time, they are still very much so involved in the process of handling each part of their, you know, their dead weight, their drama, really, Leo. Because with the Ten of Swords, this shows to me 
Ten of Swords, the Lover's card, both being inverted with the Judgment card. So they had some type of relationship in their life. Now, I can't say if it's romantic or not, um, but they had some type of relationship in their life that just wasn't providing any sense of uh, fullness for them anymore. It wasn't fulfilling. There was some pain here. Ten of Swords associates where it's been kind of a long-term thing. They ended up making the judgment call, Leo, of walking away from a situation. The Lover's card in the reverse as well. Walking away from the situation knowing that it's not best for them. So I really like this energy because it's showing to me this person isn't just going to be paralyzed by fear at all. Leo, this is someone that once they identify a problem, they're going to address it and handle it in the moment. Um, while also coming at it from a very um, empathetic place because of that King Queen of Cups balancing this all out. Temperance card comes in is showing to me this is a person who um, isn't afraid of just playing the waiting game as well, waiting for the one Leo. So this is really showing to me. I'm on, I'm going to be honest. I feel like this is going to be like a new energy for pretty much all of you Leos that I'm honing in on. Um, this is really just giving me the because I'm not really getting any type of oldness into it. I mean, I guess the Ten of Swords situation could have been you, but no, I just yeah, I feel like this is all just like a new energy Leo of someone who. You know, they've been through the ringer. They've dealt with the dramas. They've dealt with all these other things, Leo, and they're ready for just something serious. They're ready for something to fill up their cup entirely and they're not afraid of waiting for it, right? Really, really good energy. Five of Swords, this is the type of person, this is, honey, I wish I was a Leo, hello? This is really a person that just, just doesn't want drama, that really disengages from this at all, Leo. So I really like the attributes of this person. So let's see a little bit of what this person is going to look like for you. What's this dynamic between the two of you going to look like, Leo? Let's see here. Honey, I wish I was a Leo though, my goodness. Like, y'all seems like you got the jackpot. Three of Pentacles. So you could be in the work life. Definitely, uh, the Three of Pentacles represents contracts and, you know, all in that nature. There's some sense of where it's like in a group effort. So if for some of you Leos, it could be in the workplace, this person's coming in for you. And especially this dynamic, I am getting the impression. Um, three of Wands as well in the back of the deck. Two threes coming in here. Uh, I am getting a very strong impression this is going to be something relatively soon. Uh, Three of Wands represents travel and movement associated with this. And so it shows to me it would probably be pretty fast paced in terms of the connection of where it's like once you guys lock eyes, there's going to be some type of gravitation from one of y'all. I can presume from the other person, especially Leo, just because of how forward they seem to be the, their energy to be. Um, but definitely look into your workplace. You know, if you're invited to like a friend's getaway or a friend's party where there's a bunch of other people, I feel like it's going to be in a group setting that you meet this individual and that you guys make contact. And really the ultimate thing is more about like, once you guys make the contact, someone needing to take action and, and, and engaging. Um, but it's from that moment forward, I feel like you guys' energy would click very beautifully together. We have the two of cups. Yeah, this is going to be a very beautiful energy that connects you two. So, Leo, I always like to say, I don't like to just focus on romance, right? This connection could just be for someone that's craving like a deeper intimate connection with a friendship, right? Um, you know, having like a new best friend, having like your person, right? A soulmate doesn't just involve some around something with romantic feelings, Leo. A soulmate is someone that just understands you from like a, not even just a molecular, honey. Uh, molecular level honey is just in the this you know it's unspoken words where you guys are still able to understand each other and i do kind of get the sense that um especially with how this dynamic is leo like i get this sense very strongly that it's gonna be just a deep connection right i'm never going to make the phrases of like soulmate and twin flame or anything like that because i don't think that's my business to identify or insert myself in but i do i will say there's some deep connection here and i feel like you two will be able to really relate to one another because even though this person leo is exuding queen of cups energy they are like very much so balancing this nice empathetic empathic energy people pleasing energy with very much so extreme self-awareness and not afraid of confrontation and handling a problem in the moment which i feel like is an energy that you could also really appreciate at this time page of wands coming in here king of wands as well yeah the page of wands talks about a fresh start to leo you know really engaging in something new king of wands is all about that forward again ocean ocean motion um leo this is your energy here right of really taking the lead with something so i really like this a lot uh for you for you leo um let's see here 
I actually don't feel like Leo, honestly, to pull any more cards for this dynamic. I want to do one more strength card. This is your card. Yeah, I'm going to take this as the closing portion, uh, Leo, for the tarot part. For this, overall, I really like this new energy coming into your... This is hair going on. I really like this energy coming towards you right now, Leo. Very much so a nice match uh, for you guys. I feel like you guys will really be able to appreciate this. Just pay attention to your group settings because I feel like that's going to be how you guys meet. So let's get some uh, oracle cards here. We have the Scarab Beetle Spirit. Magic works through you. Parrot Spirit, watch your words. And Panther Spirit, reclaiming your power when it comes to this connection. So definitely, Leo, I do feel as if this is one of those things that you're going you're gonna to have to start making more of a point to stand out. And I know that's not y'all's issue too much, right? Um, I do feel as if the more that you have your voice be heard at this time, that's how this person's going to really help hone in and identify with you because just as we were talking about with their tarot cards this is going to be someone that doesn't mind playing a waiting game and they're looking for something specific in somebody and you're obviously exuding that and that's why spirit's suggesting for you to start speaking more boldly um be really aware that be aware of this potential connection and start actively manifesting it as well you know do your part as well do your own ritual work and setting out um putting out the energy trying to attract this person closer to you because the scare beetle coming in here tells you that there's more that you could do on a more occult level right whether it's a ritual or whatever and i'm not telling you leo to do any type of love spell on someone in specific honey i'm not saying that at all i am saying that you would greatly benefit from you know just working on getting yourself seen more, working on like your charm or, you know, start wearing a more expensive perfume or cologne, darling, and put more effort into your looks. Not saying that you don't already, because it's going to be those things that get you noticed that I feel like that's how this person can really hone in and connect with you on. Um, but yeah, Leo, thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. I do your weekly tarot horoscope reading, which I'll leave a link to somewhere around here, darling, if you'd like to check that out. If you'd like to book a personal private reading with me, Leo, my website is down below simplyvelka.com. I leave a link with my social medias, TikTok, Instagram, all that is just Simply Velka Leo. And yeah, I'm going to close this reading out so I can get this up for you. I love you so much, Leo. And let me know when this connection happens. This is going to be a catch, honey. Let me know when this connection happens and keep your man away from me if it is a man. Hello. <laughs> I love you so much, Leo. Bye.